Hi, my name is Marin, and today FM rocks in Lambarsa. Mula, my name is Mark. I love listening to Today FM. Today FM rocks in Makassi. Hey, Mula from Rocky Rocky. I'm Mento. I love listening to Today FM because they're playing my hits. Today FM rocks. My name is Enrico. I love listening to Today FM. Today FM rocks in Suba. Hi, I'm Asurika, and I'm from Lotoka, and I love Today FM. Today FM rocks. Mula, I'm Siva. I'm from Bat. I love listening to Today FM. Today FM rocks. Today's hit music on Today FM. And Avinaka Fiji in this bulletin, Prime Minister arrives in Tuvalu for leaders' meeting. Alleged murder suspect to appear in court. And new criteria expected for real estate license. From the studios of FBC Suva, Edwin Nak. First this morning, a Fijian is believed to be among three dead after a recent bombing incident in Benghazi. The United Nations Field Staff Union says Seni Loli Tambatau Sole was working for the United Nations support mission in Libya. A bomb-laden vehicle exploded outside a shopping mall in the eastern city of Benghazi, targeting Tambatau Sole's convoy. Prime Minister Warenge Mbani Marama is in Tuvalu for the Pacific Island Forum meeting in Funafuti. Mbani Marama has returned to the forum leaders' meet meeting after more than a decade on the 50th anniversary of the annual meet. Bani Marama was impressed with the setup by students in Tuvalu portraying the real meaning of climate change. Students displayed a group of islands which are being affected by climate change. Tuvalu is hoping that leaders will take notice of issues they face every day. We are starting with an artificial island that symbolizes the damage that caused by the effects of climate change. And uh, that's exactly what we're going to do. The husband of an Australian national who died last month has been charged with one count of murder and will be produced in the Suva Magistrates Court today. The alleged incident happened along Service Street in Suva late last month. Jennifer Downs, who worked as a logistics officer for the United Nations World Food Program in the Pacific since 2017, was found dead in her flat. The accused was admitted at the CWM hospital since the incident, as it's alleged he tried to take his own life. The stop work order that was issued against the construction of the WG Friendship Plaza in Suva remains. Minister for Trade Pramila Kumar confirmed this after concerns were received that work on the skyscraper has resumed. When questioned on legalities surrounding the issue of WG Friendship Plaza work encroaching into the property of Holy Trinity Anglican Primary School, the minister says the two parties will need to sort out their issues. As far as I know, the order is still in place. Uh, the school and NWG, they, they need to sort it out. So I understand they, uh, they, they want to use Fiji Mediation Centre to find a solution to their, to their problem. The Real Estate Agents Licensing Board will introduce a qualification provision as a criteria for real estate agents to obtain a license. Chair Dr. Abdul Hassan says this will be part of their review process. The much-awaited review of the Real Estate Act 2006 has finally begun and Hassan says it will be complete by the end of the year. In the past, uh, the agents, uh, the people have been given license without having a proper qualification. So now we are looking at introducing some sort of exams and, and, and courses so that when they become agents, they have a full knowledge about real estate and the code of ethics and other other. Uh, matters that are related to real estate. Meanwhile, the Real Estate li Agents Licensing Board has launched an operation to carry out spot checks of files, office space, and signboards of agents. This is to ensure that real estate agents comply with rules and regulations. VLB Compliance and Monitoring Officer Vinal Singh says the visits will be carried out throughout the country. He adds a report will be compiled and presented to the board regularly. Fire competitions that used to be a huge attraction at every annual Methodist Church Bazaar have been done away with. This has been confirmed by the Church General Secretary, Reverend Ili Bunisuwai. Reverend Bunisuwai says the church now has a different perspective and choir groups from the 58 divisions and an estimated 400 circuits will have new roles. Uh, we no longer entertain uh, competition. Now we have turned around to just to use this uh, solemn week as a day of uh, celebration. Thanksgiving to God. 
Turning overseas, Russian riot police arrested hundreds of protesters taking part in the country's biggest demonstration in nearly a decade. Activists are demanding that opposition candidates be allowed to take part in local elections. Coming up, Lombasa wins BOG. Bula FM number 2 and Seri. Welcome back. Lombasa has won the Inc. Mobile Battle of the Giants after 22 years. Striker Siotama Kumbu was the hero for Lombasa in the final against Lotoka yesterday as his lone goal was enough to give them victory. The former Lotoka striker broke the hearts of the hosts when he scored in the 79th minute of play. Following a counter-attack from Lombasa, Kumbu managed to chip the ball over Lotoka's goalkeeper, goalkeeper Beneminio Matinegara, to send the Babasinga Lions fans into a frenzy. Of waiting Aquila Matai Suva as Lambasa come in and Siotama and Siotama has opened the account. A beautiful goal by Siotama. He saw Benamino off his line and in the 78th minute of play, Siotama. Siotama for Lambasa. The Lambasa fans go crazy. Siotama has and the bench. Let's look at the replay. A long driving kick. The bounce was going to beat everyone across. They headed it through, not covered. Siotama so bent over. It was all possible because of the hard work of the place. They've been working very hard for three weeks. We have been going to Lambasa, coming back. We have sacrificed a lot. The players have sacrificed a lot. The families have sacrificed a lot. The officials have worked very hard. And I think so in the end, it was a sweet victory for us. Flying Fijians coach John McKee is pleased with how the side played against Samoa over the weekend. Speaking to FBC Sports yesterday, McKee says the team still has a, quite a lot of work to do with five weeks to go for the Rugby World Cup. Fiji beat Samoa 10-3 in the last Pacific Nations Cup match at the ANZ Stadium in Suva. You know, we've been, we've been working very hard through this, uh, through this period. We've been uh, training hard, so the players have probably been a little bit doing a higher workloads than they normally would in, in test match in test match week. So, you know, it's all building our fitness and our, and our game understanding towards Rugby World Cup. You know, the game against Samoa, you know, a very physical hard encounter. Uh, you know, I was pleased with the defensive effort of the players. You know, they, they worked very well together to, um, to deny Samoa um, any tries in the game. The Rabo Rabo Rabbitohs defended its Vodafone Cup Premier Grade title, beating Army Bears 22-10 at Churchill Park in Lotoka on Saturday. The Army Bears got off to a perfect start through Ropate Tombe, but the Rabbitohs head back straight after Espenyasi Senikarawa crossed over the line for a converted try. Army managed a try to Choilin Dulaki following a set-piece move before halftime. However, Ravo Ravo came back a stronger side in the second spell with three unanswered tries. We started the year, we had this mission. We wanted to defend the title back to back because we won it last year and we know that uh, all through the finals team will gonna be gunning for us when we finished the semi-final last year the result uh, tell us that uh, army was really another level so when we went back to the drawing board and uh, we know that we just have to work on our strength and we know they were much fitter side we couldn't be much more prepared but we know that uh, with unity and uh, working together and uh, having faith in each other and uh, at this time uh, we see everybody happy it was quite an emotional moment for mike asivo to have his dad watch him play live for the first time for the eels in the nrl against the knights on saturday fine apart from brief isolated showers over the eastern parts and interior of the larger islands Elsewhere, mainly, mainly fine weather, cool nights. Moderate east to southwest winds. Winds expected to gradually turn and become predominantly southeast tomorrow with moderate seas.
And that is your FBC Morning News. Remember to join us at 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. for our major bulletin. For these stories and others, you can also tune in daily to our sister radio station, Gold FM. That's it from me for now. Have a good morning. मैं तो रेडियो रेडियो में रहता हूँ और रेडियो फीजी बहुत रेडियो फीजी रोज सुनता हूँ मेरा नाम सुक्राम है मैं नंदुरु नोसोरी में रहता हूँ हमेशा मैं रेडियो फीजी टू सुनता हूँ रेकी रेकी वो ने नाम बोल हमारा नाम है बिनोलाल फेंटम रेडियो फीजी टू हम लोग बहुत लाइक करता हूँ ये सुनता हूँ हम ब और सबको रेडियो फिजी टू सुने सबको लाइक करें हम एक कलाकार हैं लोगीत कमलावती नारायण बतीरी सिंह टोका के और रेडियो फिजी टू हमें बहुत पसंद है रेडियो फिजी टू देश की धड़कन